Hi there, I'm Drew Badger, the world's number one English fluency guide, and today we're going to talk about my backpack. Uh, hopefully it should be an interesting lesson for you, but in this series, this is where we help you develop fluency and speaking confidence by seeing how a speaker would say something in a basic, intermediate, and then more advanced way. So we've got uh, my backpack here. I want to maybe get it like a bit more in the frame, uh, but this is a backpack that I've had for maybe two years now, uh, but I'm going to describe it in a basic, intermediate, and then more advanced way. So let's begin. So this is a backpack from the North Face. The company is the North Face, and uh, the North Face refers to the north side of a mountain, or the face of a mountain. And this backpack is yellow, and uh, some black and gray colors are also on this backpack. So this is just a very simple definition of something, or a very uh, simple definition of this backpack. Uh, but now I will give a bit more definition in the, uh, the intermediate way of describing it. So this is a North Face backpack that I picked up. Uh, maybe two years ago because I needed something light that I could travel with and you know I like to take my camera around and shoot in different locations and especially because I can work anywhere I can take my computer and I'll go to a coffee shop or a park or something and sit outside and do some work. So I wanted a nice backpack uh, that was easy on my shoulders, so it was nice and comfortable. It was easy on my shoulders and easy on my back. And it's got this really interesting mesh that you can see here. Uh, it's kind of all these holes that let the air come through, so in case I get really sweaty walking around, especially in very hot Japan, uh, this backpack doesn't keep me uh, really hot. So that is an intermediate way of uh, expressing this or describing this backpack put the backpack back here for you. Uh, but now we'll talk about the more advanced way of expressing this. So I picked up this backpack about two years ago, I should say, uh, and now it's seen better days. It's seen better days. You can look at it closely and you can see that there are maybe some stains on the backpack here. Uh, it's got some different colors, some discoloration. So this is a really great way of expressing that something is, uh, maybe it's worn out. It doesn't look as nice as it used to. This is to say something has seen better days. It's seen better days. So my face has seen better days if I've like been boxing and I've got lots of cuts and bruises on my face. Ah, my face has seen better days. It's seen better days. Or my backpack has seen better days. So when I first bought it, it was really nice and sparkly and shiny and clean. But now, you know, it gets scuffed up. So when you get little streaks on things, and especially maybe you rub it on something, you scuff something up. So S-C-U-F-F -F, to scuff something up. So it gets little marks on it from, you know, it could be the ground or maybe some paint, something. But that's uh, what happens to the backpack. So it's got some interesting zippers here and some uh, many interesting pockets and little clips that I can use to make the backpack wider or smaller. It's not the most versatile backpack, but you can open it up and on the inside, it's got a uh, special compartment here that I can put my computer in. And it's got some other pockets up here as well for pens and you know whatever little things I want to stow inside my backpack. Well, <clears throat> that's it for the uh, more advanced way of describing this, but you can see how I'm uh, not only using more advanced vocabulary, but again, n kind of advanced vocabulary doesn't mean really long technical language. It's more the kind of conversational things like talking about something hasn't seen better days or something is scuffed up. Typically, you talk about your shoes getting scuffed up as well when you get like, you know, after you... Uh, Maybe you, you trip over something or you walk along something and you get little lines on your shoes. So you, that's why you have to polish your shoes afterwards. So your shoes get scuffed up, but your backpack, because you know you, you get it and you throw it on the ground and maybe it gets a stain on it. So you're scuffing up your backpack or getting stains on your backpack. So when you're trying to describe something like this in an advanced way, as always in this series, just try to pick something basic that you can talk about and just begin by describing maybe the color and then you can go back like, okay, this is a yellow thing. Is this red? No, it isn't. Is this green? No, it isn't. Is it blue? No, it isn't. It's a yellow. It's a bright yellow backpack. So you can get even more specific about things or maybe even call this a canary yellow backpack. So again, it doesn't really matter what the specific color is, but the important thing is that you try to add something a little bit more each time you're talking about something 
so that you can get into the habit of speaking more fluently. Well, that's it for this video. If you have enjoyed it, please click that like button and do uh, in the comments section below, let me know if there are other things you'd like me to talk about. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Become a subscriber of the EnglishAnyone.com YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. To continue learning, click on the link in this video to download Speak English Naturally, our free guide to speaking and sounding like a native English speaker. The guide reveals the three most important kinds of conversational English you must learn if you want to sound native, and will help you experience instant improvement in your fluency and speaking confidence. To download your free guide on a mobile device, click on the link in the upper right of this video. To download your free guide from a computer, click on the link in the lower right of this video. I look forward to seeing you in the guide.